know, Peggy, I, I think I prefer the high price spread. <laughs> on Barkley land. That is a concern of mine. The first family of the frontier. Me and my family. With the first lady of the frontier. I'm Victoria Barkley. Barbara Stanwyck. You ask for a fight, you'll get it. The matriarch of the Barkley family. We're all Barclays, aren't we? Featuring the $6 million cowboy. Will you go with me? Lee Majors. Do tell. On the Big Valley. Where? I intend to find out. Today at 3, 2 Central on MeTV. That's a fact. Washington, you can't sleep here. before you see the rest of the apartment. All right, how about showing me the bedroom first and the rest of the apartment tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> hey, this is really fantastic. Oh, honey, it's the most beautiful sublet in New York with a dishwasher. Yeah, and no mother-in-law. I swear, darling, I will never sleep in another living room again as long as I live. If mother had only learned to knock. Why should she? She was learning everything she always wanted to know about sex but was afraid to ask. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll get rid of him. Mm -hmm. She did it again. I'm no good. I'm just no good. And you know she's right? She's absolutely right. I'm completely <laughs> worthless. Now, I know he's not selling magazines. Blessings on you both. And bless this house. Welcome, Wagon. It's a haven. It's my only haven. Mr. And God bless you, Max. Without you. Oh. These are stunning. I see you got no shoes. Mr. I'm not Max. Hmm? You are not Max. And she's not Esther. No, she's not. But wh where are they? Where are Max and Esther? If you're talking about the old tenants, they've moved. They've moved, but they loved it here. I mean, why would they do a thing like that? Where did they go? Well, we don't know. Oh. What'll I do? <laughs> oh, pardon me, please. Oh. At least my old bed is still here. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Dad. Oh, you see. My very own hot water bottle. Well, I don't understand. Where are you from? And just how soon are you going back there? <laughs> now, you see, I'm from next door. I'm your neighbor. And, well, whenever my wife uh, kicks me out, I'll I come here. It, it's sort of a home away from home. You come here? Uh-huh. Well, does she throw you out often? Well, I'm here more than I'm home. <laughs> now that Esther and Max are gone, well, I've got no, no place to turn. Oh, uh, well, don't worry. We'll... 
We'll take care of you, won't we, Bob? Oh, yeah. We'll get you Max's new address. Now, if you'll excuse us, we just moved in ten minutes ago. He hasn't even seen the bedroom You yet. mean I've kept you from seeing your own bedroom? Well, come on, and whoever into that bedroom, let's go. <laughs> this is the new rug. They just had the chair recovered, and of course, you'll have to get used to old Squeaky here. Old Squeaky? Uh-huh. That's the bed. <laughs> just take a listen to this. <laughs> Why, the living room picks this noise up like a hi-fi. Used to keep me up all night, but you know what I do now? I count. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, and then I'm fast asleep. Look here, Mr. Uh... Uh, Coffin. Frank L. Coffin. Kathy Brown, and this is Bob. Can I tell you something? I happen to like you better than Esther and Max. You know why? Kathy happens to be much prettier. <laughs> Would you mind, Mr. Coffin, stepping into the living room? If anyone's going to wear shorts in our bedroom, it will be me. You hate me, don't you? I don't even know you. Mm -hmm. Why throw you out? Maybe we can help. Oh, it's awfully hard to explain to strangers. Well, we're not strangers. We're Bob and Kathy. Well, you're not Bob and Kathy. We're strangers. <laughs> Why don't you at least wear your pants? You look like a canceled Valentine. But that's how she threw me out. Oh, come on. How does a woman throw out a grown man? You despise me, don't, don't you? Don't despise you. I'd just like to know how it's done. How it's done? Well, you see, I was getting ready for bed. I was starting in dress, and finally I had got down to my... Shorts. Shorts. Exactly. And then I see this gleam in her eye. <laughs> and I figured it's me in my shorts. I was finally beginning to get somewhere. And then she said, stoop over. Oh, Bob, be me. Well, just get up and uh, stoop over. Oh, come on. Honey, stoop over. Oh, will you please? No, no, please. Yeah, that's it. Then she begins to creep toward me. You know what I mean? And suddenly I got, you know, all tingly. When all of a sudden, out of the blue, ah! she begins to run me around the room. Oh, louser, down her, I hate you. Let me go. Press me, I'll let you go, I'll let you go for good. Uh, are you crazy? Yeah, it was crazy to have her marry you. Then you go next door and spend the night with the people ah! you love so much. That's the worst thing I've ever heard of. Isn't it, Bob? Oh. Why didn't you let me in? Well, you, you asked him how she did it. You see, it's a judo hole. They had this burglary scare right here in the building, and well, she took judo lessons. I know I should have got a big dog. Well, maybe we will. Well, it's a nice seeing you, Mr. Coffin. Frank, please. Frank, it's a little past our bedtime, so we'll be saying good night. Oh, good night, Bob, and thank you. Good night, Kathy. Listen, I'll see you kids in the morning, okay? <laughs> night. <laughs> You'll forget about him in a minute. I've been reading how to be a sensuous woman. Mm. Well, how about giving me a little book report? Huh? <laughs> I've had more privacy at my army physical. Are you sure this thing doesn't keep score? That's it. I've had it. Well, well where, where are you going? I am sleeping on the floor. Why? Well, at least it doesn't squeak. Well, who cares about the squeak? I do. Every time I hug you or kiss you, he hears it. All he hears are the squeaks. It's not what he hears, it's what he thinks when he hears it. I'm sure that poor, lonely man could care less about what happens in our bedroom. I am beginning to think you don't either. Well, maybe I don't. Here, you'll need this. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> Come in. What do you want? Is something the matter? You see, I counted up to nine. And, well, it's like waiting for the other shoe to drop. <laughs> You're sleeping on the floor? So I am. Oh, you must never go to bed angry. That's where Peggy and I went wrong. You went wrong when you let her take judo lessons. And we are not going wrong. You know something? 
You're much nicer than Max and Esther. I'll see you both in the morning. Good night. Oh, oh Bob, that was sweet of you. Hi. Hi. You gotta get me a key. <laughs> brought you a present. For me? Mm-hmm. At least it's one way of showing you my love. Oh, oh, honey, that's the sweetest thing. An oil can. No squeaks, no squawks. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty fancy table. What's for supper? Supper. Uh, your favorite. Clam dip, oh. filet mignon, oh. and a bottle of cold oh, duck. That's beautiful. <laughs> It's set for three. Well, um, Frank's still here. You mean he didn't go home? I couldn't let him go home. That wife of his has ground him into the dirt. We've got to do something to build but up his... Why do we have to Honey, deal? he needs us. Please. You see, that's what happens when you marry an angel. Why don't you go and get the clam dip and the cold duck and I'll drink to old Frank. Well, I can't get you the clam dip. Why not? Frank ate it. He what? Honey, he's eaten everything in my house. Because he's so unhappy. Well, I can fix that. You can? Yeah. I'll kill him. Honey, what would that do? It would make me feel great. Honey, I'll make you feel great. I... I bet you your favorite pie. Cherry pie? If he ate my cherry pie... I managed to save you one piece. I hid it under some mashed potatoes. Oh, my girl, it's my girl. Oh, Kathy, guess what I found underneath the mashed potatoes? Another piece of your... Of your wife makes the most fantastic cherry pie. Oh, why don't you tell me about it? You're spilling pie all over my best jacket. He's got on my whole outfit. I thought it would give him more confidence. Never mind the confidence. Give him a napkin. Have you talked to your wife yet? No, 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 no. Thank you. I can't go near her yet. Maybe in a couple of days. In a couple of days? Well, sometimes it takes a full week. Look, Bob, I'm not myself. I'm not in spirit. I happen to be very depressed. I'm... Well, look, I'm very weak. I'm what you call a... A downer. <laughs> Hey, honey, we've got to do something. Build him up. I'd like to build him up. Say something nice about him. Well, he cries well. Frank, when I saw you in those shorts, I thought you looked like a... like a Greek god. Strong and unbending. The shorts were starched. <laughs> Hey, that's really funny. That's real weird. <laughs> no, but honest, no, no, it's true. The 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 shorts were starched. <laughs> Frank, you're a beautiful human being. I am. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Why, well, we've only known each other for a few days, and already you're like a member of the family. Your mother. <laughs> Kathy, tell me that part again about the the Greek god. Oh. Oh, you mean strong and unbending? And unbending, that's the part. You know what I'm going to do, Frank? I'm going to get your wife and show her a Frank she's never seen before. My wife? The luckiest woman in the world. Yeah? Well, look for yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, nobody ever told me I was a beautiful human being before. And dynamic and witty. I don't believe it. I don't believe that bums change one bit. Here she is, Frank, the little woman. Now, Frank, she's seeing you for the first time. I mean, really seeing you. Straight up that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he looks different. Hmm? What'd you say he looked like, a Greek? Greek god. <laughs> I never saw one. But he's got something. <laughs> you know, Frank, dear, I think we're both blind. Come on, uh, hon, hon. I'll put on my old gym suit and I'll do a little dance for you. Yes. We're going to miss you all, buddy. Get out. What? Get out. Honey. You have kicked me out for the last time. You know what this lady said to me? She said that I'm dynamic. I am beautiful. I am... Oh, unbending. Unbending, and I'm never coming home again. Never? No, never. You see, I'm staying right here with these two people. Do you know why, Peggy? 
because they happen to love oh, me. Oh, well, uh, Frank, let's think it over. Let's not be hasty about this. Huh? Gonna dance for you in a gym suit. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I am part of this family now. This pie was lovely, my dear. Pardon me, Bob. You'll have to excuse us, Peggy, because as anyone plainly can see, we are just about to sit down to a family type dinner. Darling, you're kidding me. You're putting me on. Go! <laughs> These rolls should have been covered, my dear. Kathy, I'd like to see you in the bedroom. I want to talk to you. I wait two months to get a bedroom. Two months, and all I do is talk in it. Build them up, you said. Well, my darling, we are now the first family in our set to have a resident Greek god. Mm, wasn't it inspiring the way it kind of grew right before our eyes? Oh, I have something more inspiring. I'm going in there and demote him from Greek god to beautiful human being to schlub. Then I'm going to throw the schlamiel out. Okay, okay, go ahead. Destroy a whole Honey, human let's being. Let's not fight. Let's not fight. Oh, let's not fight. Let's fight. Darling, that's exactly what we should do. Don't you see? I mean, we can't just ask him to leave because that would destroy his ego. But if we should pretend to have a fight over over my cooking or something, and then we'll ask, what do you think? Who's right? And whoever he picks, the other one will pretend to get mad at him and ask him to leave. And that way, he couldn't get hurt because he'll be lumped right in with the husband or wife. See? <laughs> How's the steak? Mm. Fit for a king. Yeah, King Kong. You know, she even burns water. I beg your pardon? Are you sure this is steak? I think he sold you Yogi Berra's catcher's mitt. <laughs> this happens to be filet mignon, and it costs three fifty a pound. Oh! Well, then why did you cook it? At that price, you should have had it set in a ring. <laughs> Look, Bob, that wasn't very funny. I'll eat hearty, Frank. Science can now replace the whole digestive system with plastic. There is nothing in the world wrong with this food. Is there, Frank? Oh, go on, Frank. Tell it. Don't spare our feelings. The life you save may be your own. What's your opinion of this food, Frank? I cannot take sides. I love you both. You enjoyed putting my food down. You enjoyed it. Honey, I'm just trying to get rid of that bird brain. Well, then throw him out. Throw him out? But I wanted to do that two days ago. But no, first you had to dress him, analyze him, cook for him, bake for him, then turn him into a Greek god. Now I'm supposed to get rid of him. You don't love me. I do love you. It's your ideas I hate. Well, here's an idea you'll love. I'm leaving. Honey, come, please. I didn't mean to... I may be overly sensitive, but isn't there just a little tension between the two of you? You might say that. Oh, I knew it. Mm -hmm, I could say it. Now tell me, am I the one that's causing this friction here? Yes. Yes, you are. No, come on, out with it. Go ahead, break my heart. Am I bothering the two of you? No, just me. She's left. Oh, I knew it. No, it's all my fault. I'm totally to blame. I'm sorry. Don't be so hard on yourself. Let me do it. No, I'm leaving. But before I go, you're getting your clothes back. Thank you very much. Oh, come on, Frank. Don't be ridiculous. You look terrible in shorts. You know that I look like a Greek statue. Well, you're the only Greek statue I've seen that looks better with his clothes on. Keep them there at present. I could not wear them. Thank you very much. Those are my shorts. Yes, they're... So Kathy is washing mine. Is that allowed? And also, I cannot stand these ants. Well, I like them. Oh, you want? You like them? All right, you're getting them back. Oh, well! told me you were going crazy without me, but this is ridiculous. I was just trying to return his shorts, that's all. Now, what do you want? Oh, darling, please forgive me. It was all my fault. From now on, no more fighting, just loving. <laughs> all right, let's give peace a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, when I was telling Peggy how Frank felt, I 
Well, I realized how terrible you must be. Oh, it was all my fault, Lily. Please. Please what? Would you mind? I mean, it's not too often we get the same vibes. Well, where should we go? You can use my place. I mean, after all, we are buddies. But this is our apartment. Well, I don't know, honey. I think I'll be kind of glad to get away from old Squeaky tonight. Oh, Squeaky. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, who am I to argue with a Greek god? Yes, mother. 